What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be diving on into Iron Harvest. This is kind of a follow-up to a long time ago, I did a sponsored video on a game called Scythe. That's a board game that's basically an alternate World War I timeline where you have giant titan-sized battle mechs fighting each other. Basically everything is fueled by diesel. And so anyways... Iron Harvest takes place in that exact same universe, except that it's a real-time strategy game. So anyways, for obvious reasons, a lot of people are really, really excited about the prospect of this game. We've got a lot of ground to cover, so regardless of what we do, we need to get started quickly. So let's dive straight on into the game. I have streamed this game for about five hours on Twitch TV, so I have gotten a little ways into the first chunk of the campaign. I think I'm on like the sixth or the seventh mission. And so anyways, I'll talk about my thoughts as we get towards the end of the video, but for right now... Let's play the game and have a good time, shall we? Wait, what do you mean I can't join you? Guys can't throw or run fast! It will be unfair to the team you're on! Oh, that's not true! What are you going to do about it? Cry? Cry, baby! Let's go! I'm the Polanyans! That's so unfair! No, I'll show them! Enemy spotted! Gonna teach them Alright, so here we are. We've got to engage in our first snowball fight, and this is just the game's kind of roundabout way of teaching you about the cover system. If you've ever played something like Company of Heroes, very, very similar. Very incredibly similar system. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll if I get closer, I should attack before they see me. Take this. We'll then throw a snowball at him. Ow, hey! Throw as many as you want to throw. I'm down for some snowball fights. I'm like, I live in California, dude. We never get snow. So like, take cover. My last snowball fight was when I was like 11 years old, bro. A long time ago. Hey, she's not even playing. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> One down, four to go. All right, let's go take out the rest of them of with our highly honed snowballs of death. Sneak up from behind. All right, so what we'll do, we'll get in cover right here, and then we'll Try throw at this yet. guy. There you Try go, yet. there you go, there you go. All right, move Take over there, cover. move over there, move over there. Perfect, dodge that right there. We'll throw some snowballs at this dude. Or you can just stand out in the open, that's cool. You know, or you can just be, oh, he's pushing back up. All right, let's go back over here. Before that goes wrong. Uh, you can throw at whoever you want to throw at. That guy's health is a little bit low. Yeah, throw at him. There you go. Perfect. If you don't hit him, like, I don't really mind altogether that much. Nah, we don't need a better position. We're just going to, like, brute force it. We go from here. All right, we're rotating around right now. Let's see if we can get a better throw off right there. Yeah, just peek up over the top. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. So he's defeated and downed. I don't know where else we want to go to. There's not really a whole lot of... I guess I could, like... There's no cover right there. I got to get around behind this dude. Go over there. Go over there. Go over there. There you go. We'll get around behind him. Oh, no, dude. We've been flanked. We've been pinched. All right. Get behind that right there. Actually, don't get behind that right there. Get over here. Yeah, there you go. Flank around. He's got to hit you. Little kids aren't good at leading velocity, all right? They just aren't. You're going to keep falling back, bro? I think they're going to I think they're going to keep falling back, apparently. Oh, there's one right there. We've almost got two. All right, we dropped another one. The Polanyan fighter kills the next Roosevelt. You're the Roosevelt. The Roosevelt's are coming! Fall back! And from now on, every hit counts! Hey, you were dead! You can run, but you can't hide! I do like the little treads and whatnot that they're leaving in the snow when they run around. That's a nice little effect. I like it. Does it actively happen while we're in the mission, or is it only during that little part of the scene where we were on? Oh, no, it's deforming right there, too. Nice. All right. So, we need to fight these kids. Where is he going? He's going around behind that rock, huh? Yeah, I was going to say, they're always going around behind that rock. Yeah, get him, just get him right there. It doesn't even matter. I can't even tell if he's behind anything. Oh, he is. Okay, go over here. 
Yep, just run straight past him. Attack! We may just have to brute force it on out because they're going back around cover every single time I try to get around them. So we might just have to do it the hard way. We'll splank around down to here. And once we've done that, we'll get this kid right here. Ah, oh, he's falling back. Okay, we'll go where you can and throw at him. Like if you land the hit, so be it. Next time, just let me join in. All right, another one bites the dust. Back down this way, and let's see if we can take this dude out. Get her! Attack! Bologna forever! Oh, hey, ouch! You are dead! Uh, I'm not! You are dead! You can't just... Uh, ow! Hey! Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Or taller? She's got reinforcements! Retreat! They cheated. I would have won. Hmm. <laughs> it looked like they had you pretty much pinned down. Come on. Let's go back to the village. Papa will be waiting. Or you could finally teach me to shoot. You did promise. I said when you're older. I am older than I was when you promised me. And how else will I defend myself in the war? When the war breaks out, you'll keep your head down. I'll take care of you. And what if you're not around? Uncle Lech says everybody in Polania must learn to defend themselves. I'll always be there for you. Well, the boys did have me pinned down back there, and if it hadn't been snowballs, but... Oh, Anna, all right. But... Uh... I know, I know. Don't tell Papa. I'm going to regret this. All right. There are deer in this forest. Let's be very quiet and try to find some. Uh-huh. I found him. He's right in front of All you. All right, then. Take the lead, General. New primary objective received. I'm ready. Come All right, in we go. We got to go find this deer. Where's he at? I'm going to blast this thing. Bow! I'm going to mount its head on the wall. I see it. Yup, there he is. Let's do this. Hold still. Orders? All right, take the shot. Oh, dude, it ran away. What? I was quiet. Deer are prey animals, so they are very attentive. We need a new strategy, General. Mm. I'll hide in some bushes so they can't see me, and you'll drive them in my direction. Good plan. Just make sure you shoot the deer and not me. All right, you get in the bushes. What are you thinking? You are now in the bushes. I'm ready. Drive the deer to me. Oh, I'm gonna drive him on over here. Let's find some deer. All right, I kind of gotta hope it runs the right direction. I'm gonna come back up and around this way and try to flush it back down there so she can shoot it. Let's go. Come on, there we go. Here goes. Ah, she whiffed the shot. Drat! Good hiding spot, but that was a terrible shot. I think something's wrong with this rifle. Look, when you pull the trigger, you can't wonder if you're going to hit. You already have to know. You see the target, you see how it moves, you feel when the time is right, and then... POW! Venison for dinner. I understand, I think. Mosin's got some kick to it. Like, that's a little girl. She's like eight years old, maybe. All right. you, you know what I mean? And he gave her like a Mosin. She can't even shoulder that damn thing. I don't know, dude. It seems like it might be a little bit too much gun for a small child. Like, she should at least be able to bury it in her shoulder so she could take some of the recoil if you're going to teach her to shoot. I just, I just kind of feel like maybe it's too much gun. You got to like start little kids off with like a 22 or something. Start them off with a BB gun. Work them up to a 22, then like a 380, you know what I mean? Just Good plan. take it. Oh, is it coming down this way? Nice. Okay, so we got our sniper shot. Take it. it. I know it. There we go. I, I hit it. Clean shot, butterfly. Papa will never believe me. He won't know anything about it. I shot the deer, remember? Oh, right. 
And what a shot it was! Your best so far! <laughs> Joker. Ugh, this is disgusting. That's part of it. We don't kill for fun. Yannick, do you, do you really think there will be war? Sure. And this time is going to be a big one. Saxony, Roosevelt, the Nordic Kingdoms, maybe even the Shogunate. The whole wide world. Will the soldiers come here too? To this dump? Why would they? Yannick! Shoot! Shoot! Hold still. That was pretty close. Yes. Thank you. Must have been hungry. Hey, Arthur! Take the beast! It will make a warm coat for Siberia. You're going to war? To Rosvit? Aye. Defending the motherland against Rosvit aggression. Wow. Pretty impressive, huh? Shmiawi. Latest model. They won't even know what hit them. So awesome! Come on, the village can't be far. You're looking for Zaleshe. I'm from there, I can take you there. Well, then hop on up, soldier. Head straight back, all right? And don't forget the roast. All right, so our first mission knocked out. Now we head on down the line and we see how it plays. Head straight back, all right? And don't forget the roast. Ugh. Hello? It's not your decision, Piotr. It's the boy's decision. If he wants to defend his motherland. It will be a bloodbath. You know what those machines are capable of. Every volunteer receives the best training and equipment. And who knows, maybe one day you will command one of these. He will not. I won't let my son die in another meaningless war. Meaningless? We are defending our homes, our freedom. What do you want your son to become? A patriot or a coward? Like me? We will all do our part to protect Polania. Will you? I don't think the war will be that bad. And Uncle Lech will look after me. No. Everyone will be home by Christmas, boy. This is not a game, Yannick. It's... It's the right decision. You are a man and a Polanyan. You should be proud to be both. Come, pack your things. Yannick! You're going to war? You heard him. Just for a few months. You're leaving me alone! No! Never. I... just want to protect you. The war is coming, whether we want it or not. Uncle Lech says the best chance we have is to strike fast and hard. We have to show the Roosevelt's and Saxonians that we won't put up with anything. We won't hide. But Papa says it's going to be a bloodbath. Papa is not a fighter. He would rather hide out here until the end of time and repair rusted farm equipment. He doesn't understand. Then... then I want to go with you. I'm doing this for you, Butterfly. Don't go. It's... only for a few months. <laughs> Thank you. 
They said the war would be an adventure. Promising pride and honor. In the end, it would be five years. Years of torment and horror, like the world had never seen before. For the first time, the great nations of the world faced each other with weapons that could kill dozens, hundreds with a single blow. The war is over now, but it cost the lives of millions. Among them, Yannick, my brother, who wanted to be back for Christmas, who had promised never to leave me. But what can they hope to accomplish? What we all want. Expel Roosevelt from Polania. Without the backing of our military? Well, it looks like Uncle Leh is pretty successful so far. They say the Roosevelt military attaché is beside himself. The resistance is outnumbered ten to one. All they do is endanger the truce. And by God, we all need that. But why is there even a truce? What made Kaiser Friedrich and Tsar Nicholas agree to it? Why now? That is a good question indeed. Master Piotr! Master Piotr! In the village. Resistance fighters. They are asking for you. Uncle Lech? No, but they say it's urgent. Go to the lumber camp and tell them I'll be there soon. But I want to... Go! Now! And no visits to the damned bear! Don't worry. Alright, to the lumber camp. Where's the lumber camp at? You know, I think this might officially be, like, the smallest amount of dialogue I've ever done in a video. Uh, we can go up this way, I guess. Uh, Wojtek is up here, so we should be alright. I don't know what's over there. What are they doing here? Probably not a good thing. Can always use cover. Uh, the bear is over here inside the cave, gotcha. Hello? Shh, quiet. There are Roosevelt's in the woods. What the hell is that? Are you lost? Roosevelt's that way. Shoot it! No! Secondary objective. No, not my bear. He's my friend. No means no. The purse is mine. Ooh, drop that guy. That guy had a terrible day. Maybe I should take cover. I'm gonna take cover. They're out of cover right now. I'd like to be, ooh, I like the impact of the shot right there. That look good, like when they get hit, I like it when they get hit, it looks really, really good. Ragdolls look pretty good too for like an RTS that's gonna have like 100 units on screen at a time. Man, she's a killing machine. We, we killed them. It's true, we did. We killed them dead, Are they and their right, fluffy hats. We have to go to the village. We have to warn Papa and the resistance fighters. Now nah, we gotta go to the lumber camp first because that was like the only thing that dad said to do. And if there's one thing I know about dads, it's that dads get really, really upset when you don't follow like the one direction that they gave you. In the middle of nowhere. And we killed that guy so hard that he didn't even get a chance to do a ragdoll, man. He just stayed in sitting position. That's how wrecked that guy got. There you go, drop him. She got the PSO Sorry. scope and everything on that Mosin. Alright, up and out we go. Hopefully the lumber camp hasn't been rolled by anybody just yet. Lumber camp. Ooh, there's a giant death robot up here. Let's Can I go. bring the giant death robot with me? That looks useful. Right. Oh, look! A forest fairy. Elf. Fairies have wings. Roosevelt soldiers! I... they're looking for someone. Roosevelt? Here? There are resistance fighters in the village. We have to warn them. Stay here. We'll take care of this. Not a chance. Papa is in the village too and I am the best shot. I'm coming with you. Secondary objective complete. But I have a I'm question. I can do that. 
Can I do anything with this giant robot right here? Broke down a few hours ago. That thing isn't going nowhere. Well, that's a soon. pain. You're going to get me all husky and excited, way. and then you're just going to, like, not allow me to have a death robot? You can't just show me the death robot, then take the death robot from me. That's just poor manners. I see the enemy. Do you? I don't see anybody. Let's go. Are you sure you see the enemy? Or do you think you saw... Oh, there they are right there. Never mind. Let's go murder them. Yep, we got to go murder them in the face, dude. There's Rusviets everywhere. They got to go. Hopefully we can win a solid gunfight. Let me use her special ability one more time. Did we lose a guy? Can't decide if we lost a guy. I feel like we lost a guy. Maybe? I may have to go back and get a med kit or something just to get like tooled up a little bit. Feel a little, oh, there was another one. We are getting good at this? Killing people? Sorry. Right. Hey, I'm not going to apologize because I'm a lean, mean, smooth ass Rusviet killing machine, all right? I can't help it. It is who I am. Busters. They will pay for this. Where do they? We did lose a guy, so let's spawn another human being out of this crate right here. There we go. Now we have that's we just like we store random Polanians uh -huh. inside of inside of crates like that And way. then when you lose guys on the battlefield you just boop pop it on open like a jack-in-the-box and you just get a few more Polanians uh, Yeah, you guys should get inside the building How can I help? Be And you set up back here we don't really have grenades or anything that would help in this situation, but we do have a very, very superior position inside the house. Like, they can't really take cover anywhere. There you go. Your units do level up in this game as they score kills and as they, like, drop enemies. They're going to level up. That's going to give them, like, a damage increase. It's going to allow them to be a little bit more effective. It's going to increase their accuracy as well towards shooting at enemies that are inside of cover. Yeah, you are. Bear's doing his best right. Oh, you guys are way back here. I didn't even realize I had another unit back there. Thanks. You saved our asses. Come on, let's get out of here. There's still one hiding behind the fence over there. Soldiers, they arrived shortly after the rebels. They want someone named Dubovsky, some professor. And my father? He's holed up with some others near the marketplace. We've got to help them. Are you crazy? They have mechs and heavy weapons! I'm coming with you. My brother and his family are still there. We're all coming with you. Oh, man! There we go. We just gotta, we just gotta line up more people for the ass kick, and I gotta wait for my bear's HP to come back. He's kind of, like, roughed up right now. Ah, he's healed up like a little bit. I don't know, dude. I've been sitting here waiting for him to get his health back, but he regens slow. There's a health kit right over here if I can get to it. Get Let's just see if we can work our way through cover and make it happen. Uh, are there any more Rusviets over here? Looks like a safe spot. Yeah, you guys maybe go over and take cover behind this wall or something. I got a bad feeling. Give us the professor. There they are. All right, everybody on the wall. Everybody on the wall. There we go. Oh no, dude, we're surrounded. Hold on, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. It's not like a whole lot of cover to be had over here, unfortunately. Uh, finish them off, maybe? Oh, never mind, he's dead. Alright, you guys come back around over to here. Nice, another level up, too. Glad to see that. No, keep your head down. What have we done to deserve this? What you need? Let's go. I mean, I don't know anything specifically that we did to that uh -huh. we did to deserve this. Anyway. I suppose you could just go with the old classic because sure you touch thing. yourself at night. Like that could be. Hiding. I mean, I feel like that's the fastest, quickest, easiest solution. All right, so where are we trying to go right now? There's like across the river that way. What's next? Uh, let's go down this way. It wants us to go to this exclamation point on this side. 
Uh, there is some base building when we get. Yeah. That is a lot of Rusviets. It's very, very true. Probably use a sniper shot on them just to drop them real fast. There we go. Sooner or later, so there's also a system in play where, like, when we kill enemies, sometimes they'll drop their weapons. If we can pick up their weapons, it'll convert our unit into, like, a new unit. I'm not really interested in occupying any structures right now. Can we do something? Get inside! We're ready. In here! I'm listening. I mean, I guess we could. Why not? There you go. That's what I'm talking Are they still firing over there? As long as these guys are able to shoot, I don't really mind. I was just kind of hoping these guys weren't, like, too far out of the way to get it done. But, yeah, there is some light base building in this game. There's three factions as of right now. There's Saxony, I believe there's Rusviet, and there's Polanya. And the camp there's a campaign for each of them, by the way, in case you were wondering. Uh, you can't, like, pick which one you want to play. You start with the Polanians, and once you finish their stuff off, then you go to the Rusviets, then you go to the Saxons. Uh, there's also talk inside the game about other factions existing, like the Shogunate and, and a few other places that are thinking about entering the war, so I assume that there's plans to expand the game on out with further DLC or, or whatever. But yeah, dude, there's some light base building. Uh, the one thing I have run into along the way with this game as I've been playing is sometimes the AI can be a little bit weird and wonky. It can make some really odd decisions from time to time. Uh, the enemy AI, that is. And so you're gonna bump elbows with that for sure unless they patch it sometime soon. Papa! What are you doing here? You shouldn't have come. I... in the woods... I'm... I'm sorry. Papa? I have... I... Since none of you seem willing to give us Professor Dubovsky, we will take him ourselves! Tear the village apart! Find the professor! Not a sound, then stay right here. I'm going to lure them away, and I'll come right back when they are gone. What do they want? Why are they here? Stay here. No! Papa! You and Professor Dubovsky, here I am! Come and get me! Well, I suppose that bridge isn't going to be travelable anymore. Alright, you guys get over there. There's a reason I put you guys over there. We're kind of like dead bang right now. This is like a really, really bad area to fight from. You guys can get to cover fair enough. I honestly just don't want to lose a unit right here if I can help it. I've got a med kit so I can restore anything we lose. It's no biggie. These guys are suppressed, which is nice. That means they're not going anywhere. Alright, grab that. Why can't they just leave us alone? Come on, let's help the villagers. Alright, onwards. We'll go and fight and protect the village. Because it is a pretty nice village. It seems like a homey kind of place. Uh, let's step on down. Oh, they're already fighting over here. All right, let's pick these guys up. Help them out, help them out, help them out. Yep, just jump them right in the middle of the street. They're suppressed. That's good. That means they're not going anywhere. Only veteran units can get out of suppression. Uh, they get a special ability that allows them to bounce on out of it. Yeah, it's this ability right here on F. But if it's a fresh unit that's, like, got no veterancy, there's, like, literally no way to get out of suppression. You just get annihilated. So, suppression can be very, very strong if you set it up properly. Everybody get into cover real fast. I mean, you don't have to be in cover, but being in cover might help when it comes to the whole, like, bits of lead and stuff flying through the air. Yeah, there's not a lot of cover over here. The good news is, what's good for the goose is good for the ganders. So, like, we don't have cover, but neither do they. So, you know, we can just have a straight open shootout in the middle of a field. 
Uh, Voitech, shred this guy. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, Voitech. Get it done. Alright, that guy's down. Let's go ahead and we'll grab that med kit real fast just to patch up that unit. And then we'll continue the battle over here. Hey, everybody in. Go for it. I think they're already dead. I think we have uh, riddled these individuals with holes in a very, very violent and shooty kind of way. Okay, I will go and help them. To be this professor? He wanted to lure them away, obviously. They don't seem to know what this professor looks like. Mm, yeah, makes sense. So anyways, this is Iron Harvest. Uh, the game does get pretty crazy as you get like further on into it. If you wanted to see extended play of the game, you can go and you can do that. Uh, at my Twitch stream. That's where I played it for about four hours, and you can check that on out. It is a game that has, like, its flaws. I don't think the flaws are so great that they can't be patched out, and I do think they have a good foundation going for them right now. Uh, but the big thing that I've noticed is that some of the missions have, like, very tangible gotchas inside of them that you'll never see coming unless you've already played the mission in the first place. And then the enemy AI can be really, really kind of bad sometimes. Like, sometimes it does things that, like, nobody would do. Like, it sometimes does things that even, like, AI in old games, like Red Alert, wouldn't do. And so, anyways, it's, it's something you're going to run into from time to time. However, that being said, I have really been enjoying the storyline, and I really like the setting. I think the art design and the world design is really, really good. And so, anyways, there's the guns dropping right there. You can actually re-equip these guys with different guns and different kind of accessories as you get further on into the game if you want to. I can't believe the girl just saved our asses. You're with the Rebels? What's going on? I wish I knew. We only delivered the letter from our leader to his brother Piotr. Then the Ruzvitz attacked. Piotr Kos is my father. What do they want from him? Your uncle Lech's niece? That explains a lot. You wanna come with us? We're trying to link back up with the group. Sorry, no. I have to find Papa. Shame. The Resistance needs people with balls. Good luck. Yeah. I've been enjoying the game. It does have its rough edges, so be forewarned about that. I do think the price point of 50 bucks is is steep for for having, you know, I kind of feel, I'm of the opinion that if a game's like 50 or 60 bucks, it should have no rough edges, and that's just kind of my feeling about it. But anyways, that's up for you to decide. Uh, thank you for stopping on in and watching this with me. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today we had Iron Harvest. Tomorrow, who knows what we'll have. See you later, everybody. I hope the rest are okay.